Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for August 25th, brought to you today by editorial researcher Nina Whittle. In our top news story, the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office rejected an attempt by hedge fund manager Kyle Bass to challenge two patents on Accorda Therapeutics Ampera. Bass had argued that the patents, which covered a dosing regimen for the multiple sclerosis drug, were based on publicly available information. Also featured, research suggests that a molecule designed to mimic a key component of the influenza virus could induce protection against multiple viral strains. Study author Ian Wilson said these tests showed that antibodies elicited against one influenza subtype could protect against a different subtype. In other news, the U.S. Federal Trade Commission cleared Pfizer's $17 billion acquisition of Hospira conditional on the sale of certain injectable drugs. The transaction is now expected to close in early September. In addition, the FDA expanded approval of Novartis's Promacta to treat low blood platelet counts due to chronic immune thrombocytopenic purpura in patients at least one year old. Novartis's partner Ligand Pharmaceuticals said the updated label also includes a new oral suspension formulation designed for younger children. And finally, data suggests that the use of beta blockers could prolong survival among women with epithelial ovarian cancer. Results showed that women who received non-selective beta blockers during chemotherapy survived on average for more than four years longer than women who received chemotherapy alone. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 